www.nilstrategies.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a quick look at the markets for today, Thursday, March 20th. Coming up today at 8.30 GMT, we have the interest rate decision from the Swiss National Bank. This could have some impact on the Swiss franc. Then at 12.30 GMT, we have employment data coming out from the United States. This is weekly employment data. However, it's not expected to have as much impact as it usually does because the Fed has decoupled some of its uh, emphasis on uh, employment data for uh, policy. And then at 2 o'clock, we have leading indicators from the United States and existing home sales. But the major event of the day is at 8 o'clock GMT when we have the uh, stress test results from the Fed. Uh, and uh, this could generate some volatility in the markets. Okay, uh, the S&P 500 yesterday dropped by 0.3%. This was following uh, remarks by Fed Chairwoman Jenny Yellen. Um, after the FOMC policy uh, meeting yesterday, and uh, the gist of it, the, one of the more important uh, uh, aspects was uh, was the indication that uh, the Fed might uh, increase interest rates earlier than the market expected, which would be about um, mid next, uh, in the middle of next year. This is what broadly understood to generate um, strength for the dollar and uh, decrease um, or revert or reverse flows of capital into emerging markets, which would be negative for uh, uh, stocks and, and equities and, and generate strength for the dollar. Um, as a matter of fact, that was reflected in early trading today in Asian markets, where Asian markets dropped uh, more than 1%. And most, and most indexes were down more than 1%. Um, and uh, S&P 500 futures at the moment are also trading down by 0.3%, so we could be seeing uh, the S&P 500 moving uh, below 1,850, which is an, which an important support, again, in, in the short term. Um, if we move over to the euro, uh, the euro here yesterday came, uh, we see the this drop here in the euro, which is response to uh, increased dollar strength. Uh, it came to support here at 138.30. Uh, it's currently trading just a, a hair above that. Uh, if it breaks through that, we have 138 as our next uh, support, and below that, 137.30, and we still have uh, resistance at 139.50. The pound also um, dropped versus the dollar here. It came down to support at um, 166.40 um, that we have uh, support here. It's currently trading above that at the moment, but if it were to break through that, we it, it, it exposes 164.70 at our next level of support. Um, the pound has been trading within this upward range uh, for the last several months, so we could see some stronger support here around 164.60. Um, and then, of course, we have resistance still at 166. And the yen also, um, the dollar yen pair rose at, with uh, dollar strength. It, it moved above 102. 220 uh, 102.30 sorry which is which had been a previous uh, resistance it's now turned into support above that we have resistance at 102.75 and then finally we have gold gold which continued to move down yesterday um with as we're having less demand for um safe haven assets won the resolution won the the, the outlook uh for the united states economy and uh the, the situation in the crimea is, is sort of easing out so we have um and we've reached an important support here level uh it broke through an important support level here sorry at 1350 it came down to just above support at 1340 if it breaks through there we have 1310 and at the moment we have uh uh, resistance at 1,356. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching and happy trading.